Welcome back to The Basement, the, the friendliest, friendliest place, place on, on YouTube. YouTube. We are playing some Burnout Paradise Lost, Paradise Remastered, Burnout Paradise on the Nintendo Switch today. I have a special guest, my 12-year-old son, Pryor. It's actually his 12th birthday today. Say hi, Pryor. Hi. And he got Burnout for his birthday. Um, his older brother owns Burnout, so he's played a little bit. Um, but we're not playing on his profile because he has a switch light and we can't capture it. So he's playing on mine and I have hardly done anything. Uh, so Brian, what do you think of this game so far? I really enjoy it. Yeah? Yeah. You're pretty good. I mean, you know, there's burnout experts in the world and I'm sure some of them are watching this video going, I'm better than that. But yeah. you know, you're pretty good for being 12 and for trying this for the first time yesterday and already being better at it than I am. Um, I really like it. Yeah, I think the game looks pretty good on the Nintendo Switch. And uh, are you going to find any events, you think, for this video? Yeah. We'll do a race I'm, or uh... I'm looking for one now. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, so uh, Pryor's playing, and I'm doing just commentary, and uh, that makes it easy on me. You know, sometimes Ted involves his kids in basement productions, and sometimes I involve mine. And sometimes Ted and I do that together, and uh, sometimes not. So you never know what you're going to get here in the basement. But it's all you always know what you're going to get, which is a friendly time and uh, some good gameplay. You do jump? Yes! Oh, so nice. I like the whoop. <laughs> <laughs> right into the bridge. Uh, so Oof. one of the great mechanics of this game is you can really ding up your car pretty good. Uh, and... It's, yeah, it's one of the main mechanics. I, I like that quite a bit. Um, there are events in this game. We can do races. Whoa! Yeah! Nice. I've never actually accomplished one of those before. Oh, you landed that, like, perfectly. Car fixed. Boy, if only it were that easy in real life. Uh, uh, yeah, so we had a nice birthday today uh, for Pryor. He Get we had donuts race. for breakfast. You are here. Race southwest to the naval yard. Oh, we're doing a race. This will be fun. Uh, we started the morning by, uh, he and I took um, a drive to the donut shop, and uh, he's 12 now, so he gets to ride in the front seat from time to time. Um, that's not, like, necessarily a legal thing. It's just a size and weight and height for safety thing. And uh, <clears throat> my wife and I decided that when you're 12, you can start getting yes to that question, even if you don't get a yes every time we drive it. But well, we went and we got donuts for the whole family, but it was just the two of us, so that was kind of nice. We came home and we ate breakfast, and then there was school. There was uh, school from home today on the laptops for all the kids, and work for um, my wife and work for me. And then for lunch, we had an old family recipe, chunky cream cheese French toast, which is an old Christmas breakfast tradition in our family. Uh, and he asked for it for lunch, even though we had it for breakfast on Christmas, and so, I said, sure, why not? Uh, by the way, it's January 5th as we record this. I'm sure it is not January 5th as you're watching this, unless you wait almost a year since it comes out. <laughs> uh, and if it is, then, uh, or even if it's not, you can write happy birthday prior, P-R-Y-O-R, in the comments section below, and uh, I will uh, make sure that he sees all of those. Wow! I was trying to crash that purple and pink car. <laughs> those are some lucky mannequins. So you're allowed a couple of crashes, right, before you lose the race. Yeah. Okay, so you're in position seven of eight. You think you got enough time to catch him? You're pretty close I, to the other cars. I think I can get first in this race. Well, we'll see. Yes, we will. Oh, well, maybe not. <laughs> that was an <laughs> awesome looking wreck, though. It was. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Uh, so then we had the rest of the day of school, and uh, Pryor's in wrestling right now, so we went to wrestling practice for a bit in the late afternoon, early evening. Uh, and that was pretty sweet. I picked him up from that, and uh, we brought some pizza home for dinner. We had just three, like, three fun kid meals today for, for everyone. Whoa, boy! That purple car was airborne. Uh, yeah, and then we opened some presents, Ooh. and uh, Burnout was one of them. That was a bad one. And that's what we're playing now. I like the chrome bumper. The way it, like, reflects the street that's underneath the car. That's, uh... That seems to me like a somewhat tricky thing to do, graphics-wise. I saw a, um... 
Because anybody who's watching this watches uh, Digital Foundry, the YouTube channel Digital Foundry. They're pretty big and well known. Race, wow! Take the that was a pretty route, bad finish. Yeah. Tailor your strategy to the car you're driving. It's the first time I've gotten not first. With a bit of yeah. Well, that can happen. Oh well. No biggie. All right, so you could go find another event if you want, or you could just drive around. Or if you want to talk more and you're having trouble doing that and driving, you can have me drive too. Whatever you, whatever I you like prefer driving. is fine. All right, you're doing yeah, great. Yeah, I don't mind if I am driving and talking and then I make a few mistakes. Sure. Yeah, and that's you know part of being a Ooh. let's player is uh, learning how to play and talk at the same time. It's definitely not an easy or intuitive thing for most people at first. Going to the junkyard, gonna change a car. Um, yeah, so, I oh, Digital Foundry, I was talking about Digital Foundry, they did a review of the Switch port of this game, and apparently this game is actually fairly old on the other platforms that it's available on. It's the basement car. Uh, yeah, that's basement green. Uh, maybe a little dark, but it looks close to basement green. Yeah, the other one was way too light. And, uh... They said that this port, though, did a really impressive job. They were impressed with the performance, the frame rate performance of the game, and coupled with the uh, resolution and some of the textures and and uh, like the real time reflections of the chrome bumper and everything. That's what reminded me of that. So anytime Digital Foundry is impressed with a game on the Nintendo Switch, I pay attention because there are a lot of games that um, don't perform their best when on Nintendo Switch. And sometimes that's be a hardware limitation, and sometimes it's just a lazy port job. But this is an example of a game that runs pretty well on the Switch without blottering it down too much to make it do so. Oh, another one was, oh, what was that game? That I, I played it here on the channel. I think it was four parts. Uh, whoops, <laughs> you missed. Sloosh. Friar's little sister Betsy was playing this last night, and she went off a jump way too slow and like laughably <laughs> oh fell short gosh. of the landing part, and that we all had a hilarious. great laugh. She had a good laugh too. She's a good sport with things like that. He's a good sport with pretty much everything. Yeah, she's a pretty good sport in general. Even you know, me. It's hard having two older brothers uh, huh. as a girl, and uh, I, you know, I'm I'm impressed with all my kids for lots of different reasons, but that's one of the ways I'm impressed with her. You guys want to hear a good joke I made up all by myself? Yes. All right. So, what happened when God farted? <laughs> uh, what happened? You tell us. All the dinosaurs became X stink. Oh, X stink because the because it stinks. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's pretty good. I don't have great jokes but the ones I do have aren't the worst. Uh, yeah, a, a fair number of people who like m my commentary in the basement like it for my poor jokes, so you're in good company there. I'm sure a lot of people, wow! A lot of I people will that. appreciate that. Sorry, Van. All right, let's go do an event. Let's I'm ready. See, there's one behind. Now, the different colored dots are different events, right? This is a stunt yeah, run. green is stunt. And drift to link together jumps, rolls, and spins. I'm pretty good at stunts. Oh, okay. So you gotta score a certain number of points within a certain amount of time. Yeah. So you have zero points, and you have two minutes remaining. Your target is 5,000 points. Drifting gets you points. Jumps get you points. And I imagine all sorts of stuff gets you points. Yeah. Knocking your front bumper off gets you points. So I'll let you know when you score a point. Or s score some points so that you'll know that whatever you did did. Did that get any? No. Huh. I'm surprised. Yeah. Usually a good drift or something. Yeah, and you did, you did it without even slamming into anything, too. Out of repair. Good idea. Oh, the oh, stairs look like I they might that have been a one. jump. Yeah. But then you couldn't. Let's go see. Couldn't get them. Well, I think you have points, but the your score doesn't change from zero until 
the time is up. So you have over a thousand points. How much time do I have left? Well, less than half. Yeah. There's only two minutes to start with, so I wouldn't spend any time turning around. I would just yeah. fly and grab what you can. You're up to 1300 now. The boost gets you points. I wonder if a near miss gets you points. You might want to try to not quite hit a car, but get real close to it. No, oh, that didn't do any. Oh, here's a jump. Oh! <laughs> That's not going to be good for your score, I don't think. Oh my gosh. Dude, oh, really? you went from like 1,400 to 19,000. Yeah, I would say you got- oh, but your score is 21, 25? I don't get how this works. Barrel roll, multiplier, combo over. Weehee! That's me. Your score, 258,000 points? That's pretty dang good. How did you do that? I don't understand how that works at all. Well, I do. Yeah, see, if you do six more wins on events, you get another is car. Cruising around Paradise City. If you see it, shut it down to add it to your car collection. So Ooh, to shut nice. it, to shut it down, you just you gotta crash it. Yeah, crash it until it won't work anymore. Uh oh, are you going crooked? Oh, you're fine. Jump five of fifty. There's so much to find in this game. The billboards, you've crashed through six of 120. There's seven. Shortcuts to find and barriers to break through and, and jumps and just a ton of stuff. <laughs> See, now I love big booms. I hope there wasn't a family in that van. There probably was, and this is a game, so. Yeah, all the, <laughs> all the cars are empty. There's no drivers flopping out of anything. Alright, so if you brake and gas at the same time in an intersection that has a dot, you get an you event. You do an event. Get ready to be the marked man. You are here. Head east to the Wildcats baseball stadium, but watch out for the other drivers trying to wreck your car. Alright, so there are cars trying to wreck my car, trying to crash me. Are they all black cars still? Yeah, okay. and, and they won't be driving in lanes like that. That's why. Yeah, or but, they'll be driving faster than traffic. Ooh, he's but taking I the can, shortcut. I can drive them. I can crash them, too. So my goal is to make it to the finish line in one piece. Yep, and even if they wreck you, you get a couple of chances. Yeah, you get three shots. Uh, so this will be the last event of this video because uh, we are up a little bit late on a school night. Don't tell uh, his teachers. Uh, but it is a special day. It's his birthday. And oh my gosh, that just like made my stomach drop a little bit. <laughs> They're probably going to have a dream about driving off a cliff accidentally tonight. That's not like a secret fear of mine or anything. It just, it was so, it was real enough. Ooh, I wrecked myself there. Yeah, you tend to go for like risky versions of the tricks while you're trying to race or survive. Me. Looks like those, that's what the billboards look like if you've already got them, I guess. Yeah, that was good control on that one. Yeah! Taking each other out there. Alright, so you're heading in the right direction. Got him! Yeah, you did. You're 2.2 miles away. That's one. Alright, let's spin him out. Take him right on the back. Okay, don't take yourself out. Ooh, you turned pretty sharp. You're gonna want to turn right. Yeah. Maybe right here. There you go. 1.7 miles away. This game is pretty cool, I gotta admit. Yeah. We had, the reason we have Burnout is we started with uh, Burnout on the GameCube. That's an old and, uh, console. Yeah, the boys love that game. And, um... I bought Burnout 2 used at a cool used video game store, ah. and it, we never got it to work. Uh, and the disc doesn't look all scratched up or anything, so I'm not really sure what the problem is. Ooh. Oh, see? You took yourself out! Well, that's because I was trying to tr 
cra crash him. Yeah, but what you're really supposed to do is get to the end without being crashed. Yeah, but the end is right here. Okay, well, maybe maybe more defense and less offense. You just try and survive. Don't try to crash anyone. Oh, man, I'm under the bridge, which means I probably... Yeah, see? It's right over me. Oh, man. See now. Yeah, I just lost. That's my third takedown. Well, I... Yeah. Ooh! Wait, no, I still have a chance. All right. Let's get up onto the top floor. And do a U-turn here. Turn around. Yep. And get that finish line. There it is. Ooh! Don't! Atomica here with reports of junkyards piling up. Oh, you were so close. I was turning the, the other way and alleyways that'll get them out of trouble when they're in a tight spot. Ah, oh, dang. Whew. All right, there's an event right behind us. Yeah, but we already did our last event for this video. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to wish a happy birthday in the comments below. And uh, tell me if you have the game Burnout and if not, what your favorite racing game is. And uh, we'll see you guys next time in, in the, the basement. basement.